Hi guys and welcome back to Love Darts. Today I have a fantastic review for you. Robbie John Rodriguez by Shot Darts. 23 grams, 90% tungsten, Kai carbon shafts, color titanium coated with 100 micron flights. Now, Shock kindly sent me these to review, and obviously they've only just come out. So let's get into the packaging and see what's inside. Shot's prestige dart range for Roby John Rodriguez reflects the sun, sea, and stars of his proud roots in the Philippines. A roar shines as bright as the sun, diffused in the ray cuts at the center, inlaid with lustrous gold titanium, and reflected in the molten gold of the flight. Azure blue bands encircle the barrel, bright and deep as the ocean. This center weighted slim straight arrow is designed with Roby John to give the player complete control. The confident ring grip is flecked with shallow mill cuts to enhance traction. Go for gold and find the will to win. The EVA foam insert houses the two stems at the top, three barrels, the complete setup of dart as I'm taking out here, and you can see the flights just underneath. Look at this dart. Looks a bit jazzy and fiesta style. I really enjoy it. The Philippines style really kicking through there. So let's get the dart up a little closer. You can see we have smooth gold points to start it off with a tapered smooth nose. We then go into these ring shapes here which have a vibrant blue and gold titanium coating and this go for gold detail in the center which is a little bit different and I really like that whole go for gold winning attitude. There are a few added long cuts into there just to give a little bit more grip and variation before we get to a simple ring grip at the back. You have the Shot Darts logo etched in at the back and those stars which are part of his heritage. It's nice to see the Shot logo on there. I haven't seen it on some of the darts I reviewed so far and we've also got it on the stem. Now these are the Kai Carbon stems. I don't think they're quite as nice as the ones from the darts I've just reviewed which were the Tribal Weapons uh, only because they're a little bit more jazzy the other ones but these ones are standard carbon and then you've got these blue and yellow flights. Once again I do think they could improve slightly on their printing. It does look a little pixelated but the colours really support the dart. Gold and silver can look a bit iffy together sometimes, but I really like the way that this blue works with it. It brings this Fiesta vibe, which is why I put the music to be a bit sort of carnival-y. But uh, yeah, it's an exciting looking colorway. I think it works really well. It's not an excitingly new dart in terms of the actual shape, but I think what it is is a really nice take on a straight barrel dart. It almost looks a little tapered in this section here where you can see those circles. So it's really interesting the way that they've done this. Uh, I don't know exactly where he personally holds it, but you've got a little bit of extra grip in that center section. I wouldn't be surprised if that's where he did throw from. This probably acts as a little reminder that you can achieve whatever you want if you put your mind to it. You have some of these long cuts down here as well that adds to the grip. Shot detail logo there on the stem as well. The carbon stems, like I say, nice stems. You've got the slot rings that you've added to the flight, which goes in a yellow and blue colorway. All together, a nicely put together Fiesta dart. Robbie John Rodriguez from the front, middle and rear. So. <clears throat> the middle section we'll consider where those circular points are. Front you can see quite clearly in the rear. So. Now I make no apologies here. You will notice I have changed the stems and the flights. Now that is because I typically throw a shorter stem and I like a large flight to give me a little bit more lift. I couldn't find any shot branded ones so I do apologise but I'll speak to the shot guys later on after the review. What this allows me to do though is to show them a little bit better in terms of how I would set it up personally and make them perform best based on my throw. Once I got used to them they were going quite well. I did find they went a little bit better from the rear because it kicked up a little bit like I said before. If you are a front gripper though and you do like this particular style of barrel it won't feel dissimilar from others that you've tried before. It just has a really nice colorway and I think it's a nice standard straight barrel. Now from the middle, 
Now here it gets a little bit more jazzy because you can actually feel those circle cuts. It does give a little bit more to it. It did also feel a tiny bit, tiny bit scalloped, but without actually feeling scalloped. It's hard to explain. It just feels like because there's more actual cuts there, it's got a scallop, but I don't think it really does. It's very, very hard to kind of notice, but you'll know if you try it. Now I personally like to throw up to about a 47.5mm dart, so anything longer I will struggle, but if you throw longer, don't take this to be how yours would end up. Three from the rear. So if you don't flick the dart, which I don't, then throwing from the rear will give you your best chance of getting a high tail entry. So from the rear I did tend to get better results from this particular dart, but like I say, it's not a dart that I would throw. There are a few players in my Super League team who love a long straight barrel dart that this would really suit, so I really do think this is a case. If you like a straight barrel dart with ring grips but you want a little bit more jazz, this could be the dart for you. I had no issues with bounce outs or with any, any type of issues with the points going into this board, so that's a really, really good sign. And I'm pretty sure with all the points changes that we've recently seen, you can't use certain grips, etc. You'll have no issues with these. They're a smooth gold point. From the rear with the supplied setup. So I just wanted to show you how it can make a difference here using the supplied setup. It's a slightly longer stem. It's also a smaller flight. They do sit even flatter and it was quite hard for me to control. So. It really does depend. When you buy a set of darts, don't just go, well, it didn't work for me based on the supplied setup. You can always change your setup. Stems, flights, bigger, smaller, they make masses of difference to the flight of your dart. The most important thing you want to get from a set of darts is to make sure that the barrel is comfortable, weighted for you, and with your preferred setup, it feels good all put together. So what do we think of the Aurora darts? Now, I personally really like the colorway. I think they've put it together really nicely. It's not a new style, it's something we've seen before, but they've given it a bit of a jazz and that personal touch going for gold in the middle. I really like that and I like that about the player as well. I think that really brings about some confidence and we need some confidence in these tough times we've had recently around the world. Once again, Shot have put together some real stylistic choices within a traditional straight barrel dart. Some people like gold, some people like silver. Why not have them both? We'll throw in some blue as well to make it even more jazzy for you. Carbon stems should last longer if you use a moulded flight or the slot rings provided, so if you haven't tried those, give them a go and check these darts out. So as expected with these, a little bit on the long side for me personally, but a really, really nice straight barrel dart. If you like a ring grip but just want a tiny bit more jazz, these could be for you. I speak to a lot of players who go, actually, I just like a simple ring grip. But then they turn around to me and go, yeah, but I like it to be a little bit more exciting looking as well. Well, these really do embody that element. A straight barrel dart with a tapered nose and a little bit more jazz instead of just those simple ring grips. I like that little circular feature in the middle, and it's one of the few shot darts that actually have their logo on there that I've reviewed, so nice to see that on there with the little stars on there, just to finish it off. I'm not the biggest fan of the flights personally, I think they could be a little bit more jazzy, but it's a player dart, his choice, we can't complain. It does however suit the colour scheme, so I'll let them off. One of the other things I really like about these are the carbon stems. Not as nice as the ones on the tribal weapons, which kind of go in and have a little bit more jazz, but as a standard stem with a bit of carbon in there, that'll be more durable. You've got the slot ring there just to make sure we get a little bit more protection, so nice little package. Thanks for watching the video. I hope you liked it. Please like, share and subscribe if you're new to the channel and want to see more from me. It costs you nothing but means the world to me and means that I can produce more content for you, the darts fans. Thanks for watching and remember, love darts.